G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today is part two of Prospecting 101's mail that I received and I've still got, I've got these pieces of rock, I've got to crush and pan out because I know there's gold in it and I've also got the big piece of ore from the pink parrot mine that uh, that Mr. Gold generously gave to me. The crush down, was recover the gold and show you guys the gold that I that I find in this um, in this ore. There's two pieces, and uh, yeah. So stay with me, and I'll go over. I'll get the crusher out right now, and we'll set it all up and start crushing. Okay, here's a piece of that ore that I'm going to break up. I'll just break it up into smaller pieces and then I'll, um, I'll put it through my crusher. It's not very hard, it's, it's like, a, like a mudstone type rock. It's obviously broken down. In this material is just fine pieces of gold all, all through it. Yeah. Start the rain on me. I'm going to be doing this video in between rain, guys. Okay, I'll get back to this once I've broken it all down and I've set my crusher up. Okay, there's the material all broken down. Now I'm going to crush it. I'll get back to you once it's crushed, guys. Okay. Next is the pink parrot mine ore. I'll just break this down. The pink parrot. I'll get back to this once I'm, I've broken it down, I'm crushing. Okay, that's the pink parrot all guys. Let's start crushing some.
Okay, I'll get back to you once I've finished crushing. Okay, here's the first uh, piece of ore that I crushed. We'll pan this one out first, and then I'll do the pink parrot. That's enough. Just put a little bit in at a time. And I know there's going to be gold in this material, guys, because we've already seen it on part one. We saw the gold that was in this material. The pink parrot, I think it's going to be really good. I'm expecting some good gold out of that. The pink parrot material, yeah. We, we could see the gold on the outside. We could, I could see a fair bit of it. Mr. Gold's been very generous in Oh, I, I think I, I think I just saw a piece of gold in, guys. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Gold's been very generous in sending me uh, this material and give away things to to give away on my channel. And uh, if you're still interested in one of those magnets, guys, just yeah, let, just let me know. I've still got three magnets there, and I've got that um, outside shower set up if you get into camping. And, and you want an outside shower, just yeah, leave, leave something in the comments or send me an email. Okay. Let's see what we've got in this one. First pan. I think there's going to be just fine stuff at the back there. I'll have to get my snuffer and snuffer it all up. Super fine gold, guys, in here. So I'll have to snuffer all that up. And I'll get back to this with another pan. Okay. Pan number three and the last pan. And uh, just fine gold, guys. That's all I've been getting in the pan. Just super fine gold. I've collected it all up in the snuffer bottle. And I'll keep all this material aside. I'll put it all into a bucket. And then another day I'll get it all out and I'll repan it all again. Same with the pink parrot material. Once I've panned all that out, I'll hang on to it. I'll repan it. There's always some fine stuff that you miss with your first first pan and uh, I know I tend to pan a little bit quick but that's alright I'll get it all eventually Okay guys, let's have a look. Here my crusher doesn't crush it up very well, it, it still leaves oversize. You can see there that gravel, ironstone gravel. No big specks in this stuff, but there is fine gold up here in this black sand. There is fine gold, and I'm keeping all that. I add it all together, and because um, I'll be doing a smelt in oh, another week or so, I'll do a smelt and I'll video it. Okay, guys, I'll be back with the pink parrot ore. Okay, here we have the pink parrot ore all crushed down. Pan number one, guys, and I'm expecting some good gold out of this material because um, we could see bits of, bits of gold sticking out of the 
the surface of the rock. Yeah, so I'm, I'm expecting a nice tail, hopefully out of each pan, and a nice little tail of gold that I can show you. Thanks to Mr. Gold. And this, this pink parrot, this was a, if you go back on Prospecting 101's videos, you'll see one of his videos where he finds a gold deposit, he actually digs it out. Um, he, he found quite a few deposits, but this is one of them, the pink parrot mine. So if you go back on his videos, and you look up the pink parrot mine in his videos, you'll, um, you'll see, you'll see where this material came from, and the big hole that he dug in the ground. To recover all this ore. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I can see gold already, guys. Without even panning them back, I can see it all, all the gold up the back of the pan. It's all in that in that black metal up the back there. You can probably see it now. You should be able to see it. Big tail of gold. I don't want to pan it back too far because it's going to come running back. So what I'll what I'll do, I'll, snuff, I'll clean it up a bit, I'll snuff it up, at the end I'll empty the snuffer bottle. Okay, I'll see you at the next pan. Okay guys, pan number three of the pink parrot ore. And I'm getting a small tail of gold in every pan. So that's cool. Yeah, that's, geez, I'd love to find some of this material up in the hills. Uh, maybe one day I will, I'll just, I'll probably, um, just stumble across it, maybe, one day. I've just got to keep searching up there, look around where the old boys have, have uh, found something. Because uh, all those little sample holes that I found up in the hills, and there's still more to be found, they've found something there, and so they, that's why they were digging and, and testing, doing those test holes, because they've got a sniff of gold and they uh, just wanted to see if it got richer. Sometimes it didn't. But it might be rich enough for me at uh, nearly $4,000 an ounce Australian. Okay guys, want to see some gold? Look at that. Can you see it all? See that guys? See all the gold up there? I'm getting that in, um, well this is my third pan, and I'm getting, I'm getting tails like this in every pan. That's cool, eh? Okay, I'll get back here with the next pan. Okay, pan number five guys. Yep, and I'm getting a tail in every pan. And good gold, the way I'm going, oh. Yeah, I might, I might go close to a gram, the way I'm going. And maybe in the bottom of the bucket, all the heavier stuff, the bigger stuff's falling to the bottom of the bucket. So I might, there might be some bigger pieces in the bottom of the, um, of the bucket when I empty it out into the, into the pan. I might end up with a good last pan. Yeah. So I've got enough in there for probably two small, two more small pans. And then all this material, as I said, I'll keep it and I'll repan it again. And um, what what I find when I repan it, what I find out of it, I'll put that in with the black sand. And I'm going to do it. I'll eventually do another smelt on the black sand and recover all the fine gold. This is super, this is super rich um, material. And like I said, if you've seen the video on it, on the pink parrot mine, you'll see all the nuggets that, it's not just fine gold that he gets, 
out of this material, he gets nuggets as well. Okay, let's have a look, guys. Oh, I can see a big piece. See him? There's a few big pieces. And I haven't even reached. See how they're in? That one there's rounded like a little ball. That's And these other ones, they're sort of rounded. That's that's from the crusher, when they get thrown around in the crusher. The big pieces of gold, they get thrown around and they get smashed into, um, into balls. Rightio. Okay, what I'll do, empty that water out. I've got to be careful because I, if I tilt it up too far, they're going to roll on me. Okay, I'll just zoom you in. I'll see if I can get this in closer so you can see it. Oh, it just rolled down. Yeah, see all that gold there? And that chunker. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, guys, the last pan. This is the last of it. The dregs out of the bucket. And the last pan I did, or um, well, the last two pans I've done, I was getting those balls, balls of gold. So I've got way over a gram, easily, easily over a gram of gold. From sent to me from prospecting 101, Mr. Gold, and uh, I appreciate this. This, this all, this gold. Eventually, I will, I will melt it down into a bead or into a button, I should say, and um, I sell it, and the money goes into. Helping me get out to the uh, out to the hills and prospect and um, pays for for pays for packaging, um, posting postage and packaging. When I send stuff off to you guys, it, it all helps out. It's not like I'm going to be a millionaire or anything from from my channel. I just love doing what I'm doing. Getting out in the hills. That's my sort of that's my exercise. Because I'm retired, I'm a re retired machine operator from a gold mine, um, and this is what I do now. Go out the hills, prospect, and I cut rocks and polish up rocks and all that sort of thing. That's all my my hobbies. All my time goes into this sort of thing. And I'll get really excited when I get all like this. I mean, this, this is super. Maybe one day I will, maybe one day I will get out to the, the real gold fields and get back into this sort of thing, but that might be a while away yet. Anyway, let's have a look and see what we got here. More big chunkers, maybe? Yes, yes, more big chunkers. Look at them all. Can you see it all, guys? All that, all that gold up the back of the pan. And the sun's coming out now. It's, it's a bit overcast today. The sun's coming out for me. I'll just zoom in for you. Try and get in so you can see it all. See all that gold, guys? Isn't that sweet? Yes, sir. -y. Rightio, I'm going to tip it all out into the pan and I'll show you the total. Uh, okay, that's all the gold. I've got one piece here that keeps rolling down the hill. I'll just zoom you in a bit. There we are, guys. Check that out. Hey, if that doesn't get your heart racing, nothing will. Okay, I'll weigh it up. I'll show you the weight. What do you reckon? I'm guessing uh, one and a half grams. That'll be my guess. Okay, guys, let's weigh the gold. My guess was one and a half grams. There is a bit of, bit of sand in there as well. 1.45 grams. Thank you very much, Mr. G. Appreciate it, man. Yes! You little beauty. Thank you very much, Mr. G. That was cool, mate. Um, 
a bit of, bit of black sand in that in that gold as you can see but probably bring it down to maybe 1.2 1.3 grams which is worth oh, probably 140 150 dollars or something yeah Australian sweet yeah that's great I appreciate it mr. mr. gold prospecting 101 put his link up here thanks man yeah hey guys I've still got these magnets and I've got that outdoor shower if you're interested just leave something in your comments just say hey Kev can I have that shower or whatever and um, first one to ask I'll send it out to you now I've got these magnets these little magnets that you use for um, getting the black sand out of your pan or even if you're in a creek and you're searching for the gold you can because it's extendable look see that I didn't even know that um, you can poke these around in the in the sand in the creeks and once you get a heap of black sand on your on your magnet then you take a, a um, pan full of that material pan it out because where the black sand is that's where the gold's going to be in most cases yeah so there's two of these see they stretch out they got the little magnets on the end so I've got these two and this one here has got the little plunger this is this is for your pan you just pick up all the black sand out of your pan let the plunger go all the black sand drops off so you can um, clean up your your gold your fine gold maybe I should have used it in the um, when I was panning off that gold and the gold that I got left in the pan when I dried it out maybe I should have used this but I'm always a little bit wary about um, using magnets to get rid of the black sand you know to separate the black sand from your gold because it does pick up a bit of gold but in saying that maybe the black sand that I'll pick up I'll, I'll put that I could keep that and put it with my other black sand and smelt it down later and recover the gold that way yeah so anyway three magnets now this one here with the plunger one of you guys asked me about it and in the comments and it's yours all you need to do is send me an email mate with your postal address and and i'll send it out to you yeah and i'll throw him a biggest kev um sticker and that with it as well yeah so let us know guys if you're interested um what else are we going to say oh i've got my gold here i'll just give you i'll just give you another another look there it is guys yes sir -y. Not quite, not quite a gram and a half, but I've still got that other, I've still got that other bit that I, um, I've still got that other bit of gold that I got from the first video I made that I got a small amount. I think it was 0.3 or something of a gram. And, oh, no, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Yeah, anyway, I've got that so I can add that with this and I've got some other fine gold in there that you guys have sent me um, over the over the journey and I'll get it all together and I'll do a smelt maybe in a couple of weeks time I'll set up my furnace and I'll smelt it down and we'll, we'll make a, a big button out of it yeah okay guys I think that's about it um, thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing for helping my channel cheers Oh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange day today here, here in Western Australia, down down south. It's um, it's fine up now. It's a beautiful blue sky, a bit of cloud, but I had a bit of rain early this morning, just a little sprinkle here and there, but it seems to be clearing up. So, yeah, it's looking nice. Okay, guys, take care out there. Be good and stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, Mr. G.